We are here in Deadwood at the 2019 Wild West Songwriters Festival with one of the songwriters, Travis Howard. And Travis, we appreciate you joining us on Black Hills TV. Super nice of you to invite me. Yeah. You know, uh, I know you had a, a, you've had some hit songs and the one with the Miranda Lambert recorded kind of got you going. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we started writing before she had a, uh, a career and then all of those songs that we wrote ended up making up her first three records. So we wrote for three records of hers. And it was just such a blessing, you know, it was just out of, out of the blue. Nobody could expect that. <laughs> what were those songs? Oh, man. Uh, I wrote Crazy Ex-Girlfriend with her. I wrote um, three songs off of Kerosene, uh, Famous in a Small Town. I wrote uh, Heart Like Mine from Revolution. I wrote, uh, oh, my God, what's the other one? Oh, there's a bunch of them. There was one called Down. Um, we just wrote and wrote and wrote. You know, parents with kids don't have a favorite, so... Uh, but when it comes to songwriting, do you have a favorite? <laughs> the favorite I have is the one that made me the most money because, and I'll, let me let me qualify it, this song, it was called Heart Like Mine. I heard Jesus, he drank wine. Um, it went to number one, and it made me enough money to trick the girl that I was dating into thinking that I was always going to be that rich. And so we got married. <laughs> so it got me a wife. <laughs> got you a wife. <laughs> yeah, got me a wife. Right. Still have her today. All right. Yeah. All right. Very good. And uh, uh, you got a favorite song you want to play for us now? You got, you got your guitar. Oh, I'll play that one. Let me just, uh, I'll just do the chorus of that one. And I heard Jesus, he drank wine, I bet we'd get along just fine. He could calm the storm and heal the blind, I bet he'd understand a heart like mine. All right, thanks Travis. Yeah, thank See, you. What, do you. what advice do you have for a young person who's got songs coming to them and and uh, what, what, what advice do you, do you have? Or they want to maybe someday be like you and have a hit song. All right, um, I, it's two parts. First of all, if you are writing songs, don't take shortcuts. Do the work. Write good songs. And if you write a bad one, that's good. Write it and get rid of it and go on to write a new one. There's a saying in Nashville, if you're not writing bad songs, you're not writing good songs because it takes that time, you know. The second thing is nobody is going to discover you. You're not going to sit in a coffee shop and somebody's going to walk in and go, that guy's cool, I'm going to make him a star. That doesn't happen. What, what happens is people like you. So be the guy or the girl that people like. It's easier to work in any industry that way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's my two pieces. That's it. That's my whole life. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you ever feel like giving up? Did it come easy? Did not come easy. I did what came easy for a while, and it got me middle ways. Uh, and then I had to start working. And so, but I never felt like giving up because I love it too much, you yeah. know? Yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, Travis, thanks for coming to Deadwood. We appreciate it. Thanks for inviting me, man. I had a great time. Loved it. <laughs> well, the sun just got through going down on a sleepy Mama 